Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. In this episode, we're looking at some of the Samsung specific apps that are made just for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So you can see here we're on our uh, home and lock screen. Slide this across to uh, open up the tab and, and start working with it. Now, right off the bat, we'll see a few of the Samsung specific apps. Uh, here we have our gallery and our messaging application. Now, because the tab has a 7-inch screen and is running Android 2.2, which is really designed for the smaller LCD screens of uh, telephones, what we're really seeing here is several applications that really need to be um, kind of updated and reskinned for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So here we see calendar, we see our contacts, digital frame, our daily briefing, email, the gallery, and several other applications that have been skinned by Samsung to specifically work on the Galaxy Tab. Now, as these applications are updated and as more hit the market, you, you won't be finding them in the uh, Android marketplace. You'll actually find them in the Samsung apps. So let's take a quick look at the daily briefing application. Now, this one will give us weather for uh, any location that we want to uh, see. We can also see s oh, stock prices and our own chosen news sources. Now, all of these things can be uh, altered if we press the settings button here and go into settings. We can um, choose, the, um, choose which module we, wanna, we want to uh, modify. So in this case, we're going to add a couple of different um, news sources. And we can choose how, how often we want to update. Unfortunately, there's no option for us to add our own um, specific news sources, which is a bit of a disappointment. Maybe that'll come out in a future iteration of the application. Because most of the applications in the Android market are made for smaller LCD screens on phones, what we're really seeing is uh, Samsung skinning their applications and making them so that they work on the larger screen of the tab. So if, for example, we turn this one into landscape mode, you'll see that the format changes. Now, this is a common theme across, um, across a lot of the applications. In many cases, we actually get a new way of, of working with the app in question. So one prime example of that is our email. So if we tap on that, now we can see all of the messages in our inbox. We can interact them with, with them as we normally would, tap on a message to read more. However, on the tab, if we turn it uh, into landscape mode, we now have our scrollable um, list of emails here, and we also have a preview window for our email here. So if we have a look at the details of the uh, Two Cows Halloween costume contest. A couple of the other applications that have been skinned by Samsung, we can take a look at the calendar. Now we see our standard calendar view here. We can uh, tap through and add events, see different uh, views on our um, on the week that lies ahead, day, week, month, and a, a full itinerary list. If we turn around its side, again, we get a, a slightly different uh, viewpoint on the, on the application. Now, there are some applications, uh, we'll show you one in a moment, that, have act that are actually taking advantage of the uh, larger screen on the tab. So if we go into, if we find Tweedroid here. Now, we can see here we have our, um, our standard view on our, our, on our Twitter feed. If we turn it off to the side here, we can select uh, a tweet and get more detail on the side here. We can also open um, the web pages that, that might be associated with a, with a given tweet. Now, as the Galaxy Tab um, grows in popularity, um, Samsung's hoping, I'm sure, uh, more, I'm sure more application developers will start to take advantage of the uh, larger screen size. And given that Android tablets are supposed to be kind of the next big thing, I really think we will be seeing a lot more um, application developers really starting to program for the larger screens of the tablets and larger smartphones. For How Do I on Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. Be sure to tune into the other episodes in this series for more detail on the Samsung Galaxy Tab.